తమిళనాడులో రాజకీయ సంక్షోభంపై ప్రవాస తమిళులు ఆందోళన వ్యక్తం చేశారు అధికారం కోసం పన్నీరు శశికళ వర్గాల మధ్య జరుగుతున్న పోరును తప్పుపట్టారు అన్నాడీఎంకే ఎమ్మెల్యేలు శిక్షపడ్డ శశికళ వైపు వెళ్లటం దురదృష్టకరమంటున్నారు అసెంబ్లీని రద్దు చేసి తమిళనాడులో మళ్లీ ఎన్నికలు నిర్వహించాలని అంటున్నారు మళ్లీ ప్రజాప్రతినిధుల్ని ఎన్నుకునే అవకాశం ఓటర్లకు ఇవ్వాలని ఎన్ఆర్ఐలు కోరుతున్నారు Uh, after like uh, 21 years uh, we got the very good verdict um, one of the chief contender of the current situation like sasikala in jail and she cannot able to continue the politics for the next 10 years that is the uh, key uh, message we got it so what's happening right now is like we have a two major uh, split ops he is having only 10 seats and sasikala is having 125 and they are going to come out of the resort which way leave some of the MLAs to the OPS group. Um, that is going to be like, again, it's going to be like uh, un-majority. Nobody going to get a majority. And I don't think DMK will give any support to any one of the ADMK uh, fractions. I strongly feel about the situation in Tamil Nadu and it's very painful and hurting for all of us here in US. Though we are here, we have sleepless nights every day to you know see the situation in Tamil Nadu, especially um, a woman who has been convicted and uh, all the MLAs who has been selected by the people are standing by a convicted woman. I have not seen this situation anywhere, you know, and she has not done anything for the politics of Tamil Nadu or the people of Tamil Nadu because she was with one of the, um, you know, chief minist ministers does not qualify her for anything in this in the party first of all and 100 and 100 plus MLA standing by a convicted woman is is um, pathetic and I uh, have no words and we strongly feel that you know there should be re-election in Tamil Nadu and people should be given the right to choose whom they want uh, they want as um, chief minister. Sasikula family is really a, a big mafia group they have a um, it's a it's a big, huge family and uh, looking at their, uh, um, uh, how they've swindled the money um, using Jella's name, and everybody knows that. Unfortunately, I mean, uh, there are a lot of things that have to come out uh, uh, from them. Uh, I mean, when Jella was admitted to the hospital, how she was uh, uh, treated, what went through, what went wrong, and uh, how she was, um, uh, how she died. I mean, a lot of things uh, we don't know. As a, as a uh, NRI, as a Tamilian, we are really uh, interested to know what kind of a treatment was given and uh, what really went wrong, why the was media was not uh, uh, let know anything about uh, uh, what really happened and uh, completely nobody was even allowed to see, even the governor, uh, union ministers and none of the party members, even the family members, nobody were allowed to go into the uh, hospital. So uh, it's really, um, it is uh, for our interest, she's our chief minister and as a, a, a Tamilian, we all have the rights to know what really went wrong. End of the day, you know, two problem we have. One is we don't have a visionary leadership. You take about neighbors, state, you take about all well-established uh, countries, the leader have a very clear vision of where they're going to take the country or state towards. But unfortunately, we don't have that kind of leadership yet. So we are waiting for that kind of leadership. The second one is people don't respond respond for small uh, small events or small moments. They're waiting for something bigger to happen to open their mouth and uh, convey their information. But after Jalika to protest, that created a big moment. And right now, each and every one who ordered feels that they have rights.